and welcome back to my Adobe Analytics tutorials. This is Gabby with Interest Analytics. And this week I'm going to go through the new uh, segmentation um, utilities that have been added to um, Adobe Reports and Analytics. So first off, you will notice that the layout has changed a little bit. Um, and we no longer have a drop down up here for segments. In fact, we now have show segments instead over here. And you can now search segments, so you have a lot of segments, you can search for them. Um, and right now, I'm only looking at segments that are within my report suite. If I uncheck that, I can see all of the segments that are being shared across all the report suites right now. And that's one of the exciting things, is that you can actually share segments easily to other users or to your entire organization, which was something that wasn't um, done earlier. You had to create your segments within... Um, the admin uh, reports in, within the report suites um, level rather than within the reports and analytics level before. So that's kind of nice. Um, and so here we can go to the uh, segment manager. And here you can see um, basically it shows you all of them and these are the two that are shared and then the, the other ones are mine and I, this one I, I have added a description to. And we'll just do a quick take a look at one of these. You click on the link there. And this is um, how the whole thing lays out. You notice it's a completely different layout. It's not a pop-up window anymore. It's the whole screen um, and everything. And one of the uh, one of the great things is that all of the segments that you build here, not only do they work for um, Adobe uh, Reports and Analytics, and you can actually see this over here. So it's compatible with Reports and Analytics. It's compatible with Ad Hoc Analytics, which is formerly known as Discover, and then, of course, with Data Warehouse. And so uh, whatever segments you build in here, you can access from all three of those tools, um, which I think is great. Because you used to create one in something in Discover, and you couldn't do it, in, you couldn't run it in Reports and Analytics or Data, you know, it was, it just wasn't, it wasn't going across the tools and, and things. So the fact that they now um, cross the tools is kind of nice. Um, here we you have hide dimensions, um, hide segments, etc. So uh, you can actually like clean things up a little bit um, and, and make things you know pretty pretty clean and easy to, to, to work with. So you have all of these different things you can show hide events, show events, etc. So you can uh, work with uh, and drag it's basically a drag and drop interface with events, um, other segments, and dimensions and uh, here you have visitor visit or hit um, and and hit is a, a new um, value it used to be visit visitor and page views and now it's the page views they've renamed it to hit uh, at least I am assuming that's it's a page view um, I, this only just came out a few days ago I have not had a chance to play around with it a lot um, obviously I've made one segment here so basically a referring domain that contains linkedin.com is my segment anyone who comes to my website um, if they've um, come through linkedin.com as the referring domain boom you know that's that you know it lumps all that data together and then you can also add um, tags I've added a tag here LinkedIn so if I'm looking for the for um, for my segment and everything, it'll it'll come up based on what I'm what I'm searching for here, um, and that's also the tags are nice, especially if you share your segments to um, other users so that they can see uh, what what that looks like and everything. Um, and so, let's see. For example, if I wanted to add something here, so let's say I wanted to have a visit, and I can do and or or then, so you have a referring thing. So I can do an and and just say specifically, I want referring domains from LinkedIn coming from, uh, let's say, San Francisco, California. And it actually comes and brings it up there. So for example, I wanted to have that segment. I can tell you right now, and it even it'll, it'll show you up here. Um, it, basically, it's going to show zero just because I have such low traffic on my site. But you can, you know, you have and and r's and things. Um, and then you have um, options where you can add an additional container um, over here. Um, you can have an exclude um, versus an, it, it by default is an include, um, but you can switch it from an um, include to an exclude, etc. So there are lots of things you can do to play around with this. But then one of the other things you can do, I'm just going to go back to 
uh, reports and analytics. Oh, we can uh, let's go back into here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this just so you can see how this works. But one of the new things is it's called segment stacking. So if you have multiple segments and that you want to you know like you have you 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 want to have these individual segments, but then you wanted to have a combined segment, um, you can now stack them together rather than creating yet another segment. And so I could do visits from LinkedIn and visits from YouTube apply segments and I can tell you right now it's gonna be zero data for me um, just because again of my very low traffic on my site but you could see how a site that has a lot of traffic and everything it might be interested to see how many people who came in from LinkedIn also came in from YouTube um, and, and visited your site during a specific time period and that kind of thing so anyway that's some of the uh, exciting things that are going on with Adobe right now um, if anyone uh, wants me to go into any more detail with this um, like I said I haven't this only just came out I haven't had a chance to really really play with this um, a lot but um, if you want me to I will um, do another tutorial on this in the future where I go into a lot more detail and, and show you a little bit more about how all of this kind of works and things and if you have any specific questions that you think that the segmentation builder could answer um, I could certainly um, try and put together a tutorial on how to do that as well so thank you so much for joining me and I hope you all enjoy this new um, uh, segment builder segment manager um, thing that they've just released and I think it's really exciting and uh, until next week please take care bye bye